All right, guys, it's unboxing time. We've got a package in today from Exo Factory. Now, um, in here are three things I've never actually kept before, so I'm quite excited to see what this will be like. So in here we have something pretty unexciting, namely a colony of fruit flies, and three more so exciting things. So when we get into the box, what we see is Newspaper. So uh, we shall take the newspaper out. And this seems to contain something. So let's unwrap this piece of newspaper and see what lays hidden inside. Okay, so here we have a box with a playing mantis inside. And the mantis is. Oh, there's two inside. Oh, there's three inside. Did he put all three of them in the same enclosure? I don't know which is which. Hold on. Um, <laughs> and then here is a, a fruit fly colony, but. Doesn't seem like. There's many alive fruit flies in here. You know, this looks very dead. I think everything in here died. That's just fruit flies, I guess. But the problem is I don't have any feeders small enough for these mantises by the looks of it. Oh well. Anything else in here? More paper? Oh, there is. So here we have another piece of paper with something wrapped inside. And two more pots. Okay, so I'll look what's in these in a second. No, this looks to be like a lot more than my order already. <laughs> Everything. I'll need an enclosure. Um, gee, okay. So, in here we have a mantis over here. Looks to be alive. But looks like he didn't label any of them. So, um, this first mantis is, is kind of difficult, isn't it? Uh, ah, this guy's on the lip. Oh, this looks like the ghost mantis. Okay. I can recognize this one. So this one's alive. That's good. Yeah, they can fit through the air holes in my enclosures. And there's three mantis in here. I have no clue which species. This witch. So, um, I'm gonna grab some sling vials and put them in there for the time being. Okay, I'm gonna wash out these sling vials first and then I'm gonna put the mantids in there and then I'm gonna show you them. So one minute, please. Okay, so I'm back. And these are the enclosures I set up for it. Basically just a sling vial with a few twigs in it. And I'm gonna put a mesh like this every time I close it. So they've got something on top to like hang off to as well, to mold. Since they're still fairly small, I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not, or what's up with this. But, um, Let's start with taking out this one. This should be the ghost mantis. He seems to be alone, so... Let's take this stuff out. He's over there, so let's 
that him wonder about. I think I'm going to put some of this stuff in here as well to give him some extra climbing options. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. And there he's coming out. Oh, it jumps. I did not know they would jump. But here we have it. This is definitely the ghost mantis. This is really cool. It's like an ant though right now. I honestly have no clue what the hell I'm gonna feed this. Oh, we're good. He's in. So this is my ghost man. Pretty recognizable, so that's good. There's nothing else in here. Nope. One ghost mantid. Check. I I could keep them in these tabs. Well, a few, because I only got three tabs. But I'll keep these tabs. This is this is good. Put some more air holes in these and I might use these a bit later on. So I'll not throw this away, I'll keep this. I'll take some of this stuff though and like scrunch it up and put it in the other enclosures for the other mantises or mantids. There we go. More stuff for this one to climb on. So um, I can see one and two. This one's a bit bigger. So there's two. So I already don't have an enclosure anymore. So let's get these two out. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I'm not sure about this. I'll have to um, ask some people advice. Take off my hoodie real quick. It's boiling in here. Okay. So, um... Let's open this up and see what's going on here. This so mantis is over here. There's another one inside of there. Well, and it jumped as well. Oh, this is a speedy boy. Come here, little guy. So this should be Herolda gold form or blue form? Either one. Camera's not really focusing on it, is it? Well, that's kind of cute. Oh, it jumped. <laughs> okay, let's get him in an enclosure. Dude, they jump quite often, don't they? He walked back out. Come on, go in, go in, go in. Don't jump. Oh, 
Okay, we are okay for this one. I think these are good enclosures for now. Where's the other one at? Completely lost track of that. This one looks a lot bigger. Okay, let's take everything out. And since these were kept together, these should be the same species, I'm assuming. Sorry I'm being very quiet guys, but um, this is a new thing for me. I'm trying to be careful. At least you don't have to be scared with these when they walk on your hands. Okay, so that's... Um, Two of these, so the ghost mantid. This step, and two of these. Now I'm gonna put this step next to it, so we can remember. Only two, well, only it's more than I thought, but yeah. Yep, seems like there's two in there. And. And our three of these, if I'm not mistaken. There's one here. Two. One, two. I'm pretty sure I saw a third earlier, but no, I don't. Well, we can get two out now and then see. And if there's a third, we'll make an enclosure for the third one real quick. Because, I mean, I've got sling vials for days, so that shouldn't be an issue. see two okay or oh, three never mind there's three in here yeah okay let's try again one out I don't want to squish them I just want to pull the lot out because I'll not be able to control all of them if they all come out. Okay, there's none of them on there. Oh, not, you know, yet. Okay. There's one over here on my arm. Cool, cool. Oh, he jumped. Oh, with this many, I might as well start a reading project. <laughs> okay, so that's one.
Okay, it seems like plenty to climb onto. Number two, come out. Okay, he's out. And on my hand, there we go. It was in and I jumped back out. These monsters are kind of cool. And there should be one more in here somewhere. Oh. But that one looks to not be very much so alive anymore. No. Yeah. Where's that unmold? Where's that that one? What's oh, moving a bit? Maybe it wasn't molting and I disturbed it. Oh, that's a shame. I suppose this one that I, yeah. I'm sorry, little guy. I don't know if I killed you or if it's from shipping, but since you're still moving, I'll shoot my killed you. And that's a bit of a bummer. Suppose we're lucky for all the freebies now, though. Keep them in a separate vial, let some tweaks, you never know. So, now, mm, I'll have to contact them about what species is which. <laughs> Well, I know this is the ghost mantid, right? Where is that? Uh, oh, they're on the floor. It's chilling on the floor here. You know what? I'll turn my flashlight on so you can see better. One second. There we go. So here is our ghost man pit. Pretty neat. And here is our he rolled a species, either gold or blue. Looks kind of yellowish to me, but who knows what they really are, because only time will tell when they molt a few times. There is our Herolda species number two. There. And here are the Herolda species. 
Do our gold again. Oh, over here. Right now they all pretty much look the same, don't they? Well, since they're both the same species, there's a different color of it. The care for them will be the same, so in time we'll see how they mull out and stuff. So yeah, these are mantids. And I think, uh, this dude seems to not have made it. He's still moving. Maybe I disrupted him during his molt, but nothing I could do about that, to be honest. It's just tough luck to find him there. Maybe he'll molt out or something. In that case, I'll give him a proper setup. I'm just going to put this one aside and see. So yeah, these are the mantids that we've acquired. So we now have some well, some five mantids on the channel. Thank you. They, I, uh, I read they need about two to three times their length since they're this tiny. These cups will do, but especially these four should pick up in the same size each mold. So I suspect I'll move these two, these cups when they mold out, except like for the fact you only have three of them, so that'll be an issue. <laughs> but um, I'll figure something out when the time's there. So yeah, these were the new mantids. Oh, wait, 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 before we wrap up the video. Let's see if the fruit flies are alive. Because if so, we'll feed them right now as well. If not, I'll go get new fruit flies tomorrow. Okay, we got rid of the tape from it, so here's a fruit fly colony. It doesn't seem to have a single live thing in there. There's some dead fruit flies. I think that's completely molded up. I'm not sure if it's mold or not. Maybe they still have to hatch or something. I don't know, there's like larva or something in there. Like is this even mold? Looks like mold to me. Is this what it's meant to look like? I've got no clue. I suppose I'll keep it and see if something comes out of it. But I don't think anything will. I think this is pretty dead. So yeah, I'll get new fruit flies tomorrow. And give these little mantises a feat. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Well, quick, it's like half an hour long. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.